Hello, everybody, and welcome to the show. It is launch day, part de launch day, the revenge. Just when you thought it was safe to watch Crafters TV. Welcome along. Uh, start of a brand new week, but all the craziness is still here, and it's an exciting week as well. We're very excited about this week because uh, we are celebrating Sarah's big birthday. Whoop, it's a big one. I mean, not that big, but, you know, quite big. 40, 40. Massive. It's, it's huge. Fabulous at 40. Um, so there's lots of bits and pieces you need to be looking out for as far as that's concerned right throughout the week. Something extra happening tomorrow, I believe, which is actually her birthday, so look out for that. Currently, uh, if you buy any of our brand new launches this week, you will get 25% off um, one of her books if you fancy picking one up. And if you're thinking to yourself, well, what launches? Well, you have plenty to choose from. We have got launches galore this week, actually. Lots coming up for you. Uh, there are seven, in fact, I'm just hearing in my ear, and so many I can't even count. That. I mean, I can count to seven. Um, but lots of launches to uh, think about. Today's launch, you absolutely need to jump in and buy. And I kind of feel like, for those of you who just tuned in on this show, this is your first launch day. And um, for those of you that watched earlier, bit of a masterclass for you, because I can almost guarantee if you did watch earlier on, you bought, didn't you? You got the showstopper, or you picked up some bits and pieces of this brand new, beautiful Honeysuckle collection. Um, lots to chat to you about. One thing I will say straight off the bat, we left the last show at 30% of the stock gone. We are now over half. A lot of people have checked out in that two hour period. Um, I think a lot of people who were sort of mesmerized by Leanne's demos um, perhaps didn't buy in the show and now have. So we are over half. Um, if you haven't yet seen it, then you are in for an absolute treat. It is a collection like no other and uh, something a little bit different this time around as well in the fact um, we've, d we've done a showstopper collection. No bonus buy though. However, I think the showstopper itself is marvelous is brilliant because you're getting free stuff in there and I will tell you exactly how it all works in just a few moments time. But before that, let's say hello to the lady who is going to be inspiring you and delighting you and entertaining you over the course of the next couple of hours. It is the one and only, the marvellous, your friend of mine, the moss to my size all, Leanne, <coughs> how are you? I'm okay. I'm thrilled to be here for two full shows yeah. at your bed. Normally they ship me off and they send me out and somebody else comes and does, yeah. the, does the late shift. Uh, I'm very happy to be here. I'm thrilled that you're loving the mm. fantastic Honeysuckle collection. Um, and if you didn't get it before, wait till you see the demos I've got for you. There's two hours. I know. It's going to be fantastic. And actually, if there's anything particularly that you want to see or if you want to ask, if you've already bought it in the last show and you're thinking, oh, what could do with this being answered? Fire away with those questions. We have got Jan on the socials tonight. Um, already in is Zoe Carver saying a very good evening from West Sussex. Karen's in saying aloha. Hello, Karen. And uh, good morning, everyone. Um, Kathy Kerr joins us from a sunny southwest Ontario. And Christina Sayer says, hello, Ben and Leanne. I'm looking forward to taking a look at this new collection. So I will um, take you around everything as far as the deal is concerned and we can have a look at it in full with Leanne and we've both got uh, beautiful finished samples to show you as well. So uh, we'll do that right throughout the show. Uh, hi to Michael Adams as well, by the way. He says, good evening, Ben. Uh, we had a fab day with Debbie in North Allerton. Yes, that was over the weekend, wasn't it? Uh, happy birthday, Sarah. Sending best wishes for Michael, Stephanie and Hercule. Here's the Honeysuckle Showstopper then. Uh, the details are coming up on your screen here. As I said, it's slightly different this time around in that there's no bonus buy. However, it is definitely worth you getting the Showstopper. If you're thinking about just buying the collection on its own, stop. Stop right now. Thank you very much. Do you need someone with a human touch? Hey, you. Always on the run. <laughs> you better slow it down, baby, and have some fun. Uh, Nothing like a bit of spice, girls, is there? You've got to spice up your life, haven't you? You've got it. You have got to spice up your life, Ben. Yeah, I only had that in my mind because um, David Beckham filmed. Did you see that? <gasps> Do you cool. know what? I really loved it. I had in my mind. I had a preconceived idea that I didn't like the Beckhams. Oh, oh. I watched the Netflix yes. thing, and now I really like them. Yeah. I just think they get a lot of bad press. I do. And I think Victoria's had a lot to put up with. Mm. 
I think he's changed his mind like the wind mm. and she's had to drag herself around the world following mm. him. And then they've got all those children as well and skills. Mm. And so now I'm, now I'm like, I'm feeling this sisterhood with Victoria, really. And I think, I think David's a really nice family man who loves mm. his family. Yeah, he is. That's how it was portrayed. Yeah. I really enjoyed that. So they're no longer on my irrational dislike list. Oh, unlike the, the Pet, Pet Shop, Shop Boys. Boys. I can't help it. Oh, no, I, I can understand that. I can understand that. Um, anyway. <laughs> I was about to say, uh, no, we'll not do that talk that we just had in my mind. We'll move swiftly on. Uh, the Honeysuckle Collection. It's all of this, um, which Leanne will show you in great detail in just a second. 12 by 12 paper pad. Stunning. You're going to love it. And matching with it, your linen cardstock, as we always do. You're getting a 6 by 6 paper pad in here as well, plus matching sheets of your vellum. And then you get all of the goodies in here, all of the hardware. So you've got stamps, you have got beautiful dies, stamp and die sets, sentiments in here, embossing folders. I mean, it is such a fantastic collection. And you are also going to get the biggest, most beautiful pot of honey sequins uh, that I think you've ever, ever seen. Beautifully, uh, <laughs> beautifully displayed, um, as you can see here. Um, it's I mean... It feels like it, it wasn't, it, it's too, someone, it's, it's too regular now. It needs to be a bit more, doesn't it? No, but it needs to be a bit more, so it's going to be artistic. Oh, that's a bit better. Anyway, that's also included, right? So your showstopper is $91.99 or $123.16. However, the showstopper is the deal you must go for because for an extra $14.99 or $19.95, we're going to give you all of this. So an extra 12 by 12 pad, an extra uh, pack of our vellum, 24 sheets there, and an extra six by six pack as well. So in, basically what it's like is we're giving you a second um, 12 by 12, because you're paying you 14 99 for, and then we're giving you these two for free. So that's how we've done it this time. Slightly different to getting a bonus buy, but we kind of figured that the majority of you do get a second lot of your consumables anyway, so why not build it into the bundle and give you the majority of it for free? That's what we've done. That's why we are approaching 60% of the stock. 91.99 platinum, 123.16 if you're in the US and you're platinum. Don't leave that $1.84 hanging about. Buy something else and get your free shipping. If you're the other end of the scale and you do just want to pick and choose, buy a few bits and pieces, maybe you've got your eyes on some of the other launches later on in the week, then of course you can do that. But what I would say is there's almost no need to buy the collection on its own today. Either go for the showstopper or pick and choose. Uh, but it is definitely over to you on that one. Let us go through it all and have a look at it with Leanne then we'll show you some samples because Leanne's got some beautiful samples I've got some great samples over here and then uh, we will get into it and uh, get those demos going but Leanne talk us through this because you said earlier on actually it's such a great point yes we've done some amazing uh, floral collections before but never a honeysuckle never done a honeysuckle before and I've done some I've done some crafty digging and I haven't seen no. a honeysuckle collection anywhere else Ben um you know so as far as I know it's not an easily accessed floral for a collection mm. but it's a beautiful floral it's a fragrant floral and it really does make a statement it's very different I think it's it's timeless it's elegant it's just got so many things going mm. for it now I'm going to start with the paper pad you would be forgiven for thinking if I'd said we're going to do a honeysuckle collection that it would be lovely and pastel and pink and you know it would be understated but no we've gone for the beautiful bold pops of color with this floral so that you can really get a sense of the beautiful colors and we've done those colors in time for all of the lovely seasons that are on their way spring summer well springs here what you, is wouldn't it? Know, you wouldn't know it from the weather no you wouldn't we're hoping the summer's going to be better and i'm hoping my summer's like that paper yes please that is a picture of how yeah. I would like my summer to be. Yeah. Um, and the papers are absolutely glorious, Ben. 180 GSM, gorgeous colours, beautiful prints, and all of our paper designs designed with intention, Ben. We talked about that earlier, didn't mm. we? So whenever you look at one of our papers, we very carefully place the images on there so that you get maximum use out of a sheet. So if you look at this and you think about this as a quarter... You can see that this here would give you one large honeysuckle. Yeah. The bottom piece would give you more of a corner. This would give you the opposite corner, left or right. And then this piece up here, that would give you a planar piece to work with so that mm. you can do some of your layering and some of your Im other images that are in there, maybe behind a creator card. 
And then we've also thought about you know, splitting that up into eight by eight pieces as well for scrapbook, a full scrapbook page, your five by sevens, your borders, your slimline cards. We've thought about all of, how all of those things are placed on a page so that you get maximum crafting. So it's very, very um, usable for you and it reduces the waste that you've got and in a paper pad. the same across every paper pad? Every it? single paper pad. How have I never ever heard that before? Every single paper pad. I think I've just never told you. Mm. Mm. Yes, I know yeah. it was very remiss of me not to share that with well, you. No, wasn't not really. It? I, I, I that's mean, it was. I will use from now on, you see. I'm pleased you know now, and yeah. now everybody can tell it Secrets because out. it's the truth. That's mm. what we do. Uh, you've got some beautiful soft colours in here too, so that you've got a little bit of everything. The lovely peachy corals, those pops of vibrant green, mm. which are fantastic. I love this one with the tops. I just think it feels so. Um, like dusky evening mm. and this vibe, it's absolutely glorious. So beautiful papers in here, each and every one of them. They're all thrillers, no fillers, and my glasses have just fallen off my head. Well, I'm not surprised. They're that beautiful. I that mean, that was is. how shooketh I was by how <laughs> yeah. glorious that pad was. My glasses <laughs> fell off my head. Yeah. Then we've got the beautiful vellums. Now, you've got 24 of these vellums in here. You've got six designs four of each and i've just got a sheet of white card here so you can see some of the beautiful pops and punch of color that you get these are the 12 by 12 papers which have been sized Gorgeous. down into eight by eight in design yeah. so that you've got all of the beautiful design there in that gorgeous vellum. So you've got those 24 sheets of those eight by eight. We do 150 GSM when we do our vellums, Ben, yeah. which is a goodly weight, a especially goodly weight. when you're folding mm. and creating, or if you want to use them to line one of your cards or maybe have an aperture, do a little vellum envelope. It's going to look absolutely glorious. Uh, and can I just say for you crafters, um, at home who do A6 cards. Uh, if you do A6 cards, you need an 8x8 piece of paper on our enveloper to make an envelope. Imagine making vellum envelopes mm. for your creations. Mm. <gasps> Ooh, yes. Hello. It's going to look glorious. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, we've got the linen card pack in here for you. All of those colours beautifully Pantone match to the paper pad so that you don't have to go and find the perfect piece of card to finish off your project It's included for you um, And you've got how many different colors? I think it's eight. One, eight. two, three, four. Eight colors because we couldn't choose mm. We couldn't chuck a color out. They were all that glorious. There was that many colors included in the pad We needed to have them represented for you. So mm. having your eight colors there, I think is truly wonderful So you've got that and then you've got your six by six paper pad Exactly the same quality as your 8x8. Eight eight. It's just your designs have been resized yeah. down so that you can use a full sheet on one of your cards and you're not having to cut them down to fit. So beautiful designs, exactly the same papers, exactly the same pops and punch of colour, all double-sided, 180 GSM. You know the quality of a Crafters Companion paper pad. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say about that. I mean, there's so <laughs> much to talk about, isn't there? It's just a gorgeous collection. It is. Right, so getting into the main elements, you've got this fabulous creator card, which I have to say is exquisite mm -hmm. when you see it coloured in uh, with your markers and maybe used as a shaker card. We've also got this uh, illustrated magnolia, mm. which makes me think about botanical books from years gone by, mm. which is a stamp. You can see beautiful when it's just coloured. Look what it's like when you use your aqua markers and oh, then wow. spray it with water. And this is what I did earlier where I did the gold emboss on there, which I think is beautiful. The black emboss, I mean, each mm. one of those with that stamp looks entirely different, Absolutely. the same stamp. You've also got this gorgeous edgeable in here. We know how much we love an edgeable. That's what it looks like when it's used on the card, maybe with a little bit of faux paper piecing. I showed you that in the previous hour. If you want to know how to do it, go and watch. Uh, one of my favourite sentiment scents that I think we might have ever done. Um, just that beautiful bee with the word honey on there and then um, lots of little sentiments that you can cut out and use alongside it. Example, to my honey bee. Aww. How gorgeous is that? That's cute, that card. It's just really lovely. And do you know, that could be for anything. Mm. That could be your honeybees having a hard day. Yeah. Having a hard week. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, has had some sad news. Or just, just, just a little bit fed up yeah. with the world. Yes. And wants to feel a little bit better and uplifted. Mm -hmm. That would do that for them. It would. It doesn't have to be about a birthday. No. Then we've got this fabulous little cut-in honeycomb. J'adore that. Oui. Especially Moi when aussi. we use it. 
It's gorgeous, isn't it? Mm. Especially when you use it as a shaker. Then we've got the incredible 3D folder, which I truly love. Beautiful when you softly colour it and beautiful when you boldly colour it too. It's absolutely gorgeous. We've got a whole set of sentiments in here. And uh, I think you pointed this out really brilliantly, actually, in the first hour, Ben, when you said we try to match the sentiment to yes. the collection. I think we've done... Uh, well, I think we've done a good job of Brilliant that this job. time, honestly. Brilliant job. Um, so thanks for being there. <laughs> uh, you are the bee's knees. That's I love that one. So Just good. be cos. Yeah. Be beautiful. Uh, you are sweeter than honey. Live a beautiful life. It's so life is sweeter with you. Uh, it's kind words are like honey. Aww. It's going to be a good day. Be kind. Mm. It's so lovely the sentiments on there and they match the entire collection and then we've got this fabulous little nesting set of uh, hexagons which are great to make little shaker elements or little um, interest pieces but actually the reason I included these in the collection was to cleverly use your scraps of paper yeah. that are left over from your scrapbook pad be it six by six or eight um, 12 by 12 and or even your vellum it just means that nothing is wasted and you can really start to patchwork up some beautiful designs and all of these little sequins that you're seeing about you get a massive pot Ma of beautiful honey gold sequins in there which are great for all of your shakers and your elements it's a gorgeous collection ben every single item in there different than the last every one of them necessary all thrillers and all fillers and i think different just different to have that honeysuckle it's it's such a beautiful collection i would just show you a few cards here as well and i'll read a few comments we're very very busy um again uh, sandra thank you for sending your picture in. i did get to see some of the pictures in the break actually and yes i did see the pic of your garden um uh, even says this is a beautiful collection it certainly is and hillary says i bought the paper pads uh, hi hillary and hi to holly collie uh kathy kerr says ben how is the itinerary for your u.s trip with debbie coming uh, have you added canada to your schedule yet uh we've not i mean we've not really got too far into the u.s um trip yet uh, debbie and i are thinking of going to uh do a, a stateside but basically, he started off, Leander, I, you know a lot of our guys go to the shops here, don't they? So Debbie goes to the Chesterfield store quite a lot. So I said I'd love to go on one of those trips, you know, potentially with Debbie. And then it kind of went, well, you know, if you're going to do the Chesterfield store, why don't you come and visit us in the US um, and do like a bit of a, a tour there? So me and Debbie were thinking about getting uh, like a Winnebago. Well, you know that tour. we're doing the Academy of Colour purple bus tour. What? Yeah, we're planning it. So we're going to get a big purple bus. Right. <coughs> I'm saying we're planning it. We're planning it. I don't know if it's actually really going to happen. Right. But when we did Academy of Colour, all of the ladies wanted us to go and do the Academy of Colour America tour. <coughs> so we decided we'd get a massive big purple tour bus yeah. and go on the Academy of Colour tour around every single state. Right. So you could just come on the big bus I'm, with us. I'm, I'm well up for being on the bus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just do that, Ben. Okay. Every state. Okay. And we're going to have to go to a couple of places in every state, like north and south of the state, yeah. to make sure that everybody's covered. Yeah. I mean, I think we I think we could take a whole year out to do that, Ben. I reckon it's probably going to take a year to do the whole of the US, I reckon, isn't it? Yeah. And drop in on Canada as well. Yeah, of course. Nobody oh. left out. Everybody All right. included. All right, Cathy. Well, there you go. Um, yeah, well, we'll see you on the Big Purple bus tour. Sounds great to me. I'm up for it. Genuinely up for that. Uh, Jenny says, love the colour palette in the collection so much and stunning papers, says Cathy. Uh, I had a honeysuckle in my garden until last year. I took it out because it didn't flourish, but it didn't have a plant buddy either. Maybe that was the mistake. Yeah, you, we've learned that earlier on that you need a plant buddy for your honeysuckle. You need an evergreen climber. Mm. Um, and Margaret, I'll say yes to this because I know yes will be the answer. Uh, you just say hi both. Any chance that Leanne can show again how to use the rocker blocks as I never seem to be able to do it? Thank you. Margaret. Yes, of course. We will My show. pleasure. Yeah. Uh, hi, Stephanie in New Jersey. Uh, hi also to Pat Demarest is back with us and Trish LaSalle. He says, hope you're all having a fabulous Monday. We are. Um, she said it again. I didn't even notice. Uh, Anne says, Leanne really wants a Magnolia collection. Oh, I have I said it notice. again? I didn't notice this time. Oh, I'm Never sorry. Mind. What is my problem with that? <laughs> oh, my word. What is your problem? What's my problem? It's honeysuckle, not magnolia. So I think, I think we all know a collection that's going to be coming out. <laughs> and then it will be a honeysuckle collection. It's a honeysuckle. <laughs> honeysuckle. Uh, 
Any more mentions of Magnolia? I'm gonna have to push. I'm gonna have to put like have like a a swear jar. Yes. But it's a magnolia jar. Yes. And then I'll and then I'll it can either go towards the bus or a charity. Mm. Um, uh, can you all be on magnolia watch, please? Please be on magnolia here. watch. Thank you. Uh, the linen paper is amazing, says Wendy. Also, I'm in America. Your paper is so much higher quality. If you came here, Yarl would just be horrified by the quality of paper here, says Wendy. Oh, really? Wendy, thank you for that. I mean, it is exceptional quality and I will not brook any change. Anybody who ever discusses a change, I'll say no. No. Absolutely not, because it is, it is really, really good. Um, lots of love for the purple tour bus idea as well. Um, quick question from Stephanie, you said, would the hexagon, would you be able to cut through fabric with the hexagons? No. No. We have got hexagon fabric yeah. dyes for that very reason. Mm. These are a paper craft dye. Uh, and hi to Shirley says, I ordered my edibles last week with Craig and they have arrived today. Woo hoo. Do you know what? We're 22 minutes in. Um, I'll show you some more samples in just a bit because I feel like uh, and producer Nicola is going, get out of the demo, move on, what are you doing? She's like, ah, no, she isn't really. Um, we are, <laughs> we're going to get on with the demo though because we've chatted for so long. So let's do this right now. Um, what are you going to show us, Leanne? Well, we're going to have a look at using the 3D folder. Okay. And we're going to use some aqua markers as well because I think we might have them on a little bit of a deal somewhere. Yes. Maybe on the website, so why not? Um, and then I'm just, I'm obsessed with that. Oh, yeah, that is beautiful. I just think it's beautiful. So I think, let's have a look at how to do. Okay, so what I've got is the 3D folder here. And I've just got a square of our multi-purpose cardstock. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be using watercolour markers, so you could use watercolour card as well. Because I'm going to be colouring direct and not really looking for a watercolour effect, I'm just going to be using our multi-purpose. And then I'm popping it into the folder. Where it says Nature's Garden on the folder, that's the back of the design. So if you're working with a special effect, your special effect would go up from mm. that. Close up your folder and pop it through the machine. So actually I've got little, uh, we don't need to wait for that when I've got little ones down here. This is the joy of our new Gemini 2, yeah. isn't it? Where if you've got a smaller sandwich. Is that um, folder gonna go through our MIDI as well? It would. Yeah. Yes, it would. absolutely. Straight Marvelous. in the MIDI, no yep. shim needed. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Uh, and then I'm going to pop that through the Gemini with a 3D folder sandwich. Um, hi, Wendy, who's joined us. Christine Mahoney's joined us as well. Um, and Jill, just to answer your question, just got in from work, not sure if this has been asked before, but are the duet ink pads in the Honeysuckle collection new or have they been sold previously? The duet ink pads we've put together are curated for this okay. collection, aren't they? Um, duet, where are they? We, they're in another bundle. But they're not new. Ah, uh, no, they're not new. No, they've just been curated. They've to match been, the sorry, colours. I beg your pardon. Yes. yes, I couldn't see them anywhere. I'm like, have I missed them? No. No, they're in the bundle elsewhere. I mm. understand now. Mm. It took a little while. That's why mm. I keep saying magnolia instead of honeysuckle. I feel I'm on a delay at the moment in Chivers World. Probably need chocolate to fix that. <laughs> uh, or rose yeah, wine. Probably do. Or a glass of rose wine. Yeah. Or both. Yeah. Um, Yes, they are not new colours. They are a hand curated colour mm. selection for yes. you. Yes. Um, over to you. Cheers. Right. So now I can I just for a minute. It's this is this never ceases. It's mm -hmm. exceptional. Mm -hmm. Look. Mm -hmm. Look at the depth of that emboss there. And I know Jamie's zooming in to see this in detail, but ah, oh, but you. So, I mean, you could see it from a mile off, and that on a white cardstock. How? Stock, unbelievable mm -hmm. is that and do you know if you're doing a beautiful wedding invitation and you're doing tone on tone to have these in white or ivory just embossed a little sentiment maybe a bit of sparkle mm -hmm. a little bit of gold or silver matte in the back absolutely incredible mm -hmm. you don't need to do anything to it it's out of this world unbelievable now what i've got is some water i've got a paintbrush i've got my aqua markers and we're just going to watercolor the florals Okay, so starting with, let's start with the pink, why not? I'm going to use some hot pink, just checking the colour. Don't think I am, I think I'm going to use red violet. Change my mind, Ben, yes. So I've got my red violet here and I'm just going to add a little bit of that on straight onto the flower. Okay. And this is just onto the embossed piece. Yeah. 
And then I'm going to take some of my yellow. So I'm going to use some sunflower. And that's coming straight onto the embossed piece as well. And then I'm going to use a little bit of the marigold to give a little pop of another colour on there. There we go. And then finally into sunflower. Okay, so I just get the colour down. Yeah. And then with a, a damp paintbrush, not wet, damp. So it doesn't need to be dripping. I then just move that colour around. And they'll melt into each other. So you can um, do it direct to the card like this. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to, if the choice is yours, it's your painting, you can put the colours directly onto uh, your mat. Yeah. Uh, like this, voila. What's the easiest way? Um, do you know what? There isn't an easy or a hard way. I mm. think it just depends on your confidence level and your preference. Okay. Uh, so you can pick up a little bit from here and I'm going to do another one. So let's say I'm doing this one here and then I can just go straight on with that colour. I would say you have a little bit more control going with the pen to the folder mm. than you do with the water from the mat. Um, right. Is but that because the nib's a bit more flexible It's just brush? a little bit, yeah. Well, also there's, also there's water on there now oh, as okay. well, yeah. which just adds to the volatile mediums that are working together. Mm. Uh, but do you know, it doesn't matter. And the great thing about this is it really does not need to be perfect. No. Um, you're aiming for not perfect actually, because you want it to, feel watercolored mm. so you just move around each of the little areas and i suppose it makes it easier that you're just following the detail of the emboss almost like a bit of a i don't know like a dot the dot isn't it like really? a stamped line yeah yeah you've got the you know where you're going you can see where you're going and you want it to feel you want it to feel watercolored mm. um i think i'm gonna have a little bit of this color in here yeah nice how long would it take you to do the whole thing here if you were doing this at home? How long would it take? Yeah. About 10 minutes. Oh, is that all? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Well, I know she's a professional, Nicola. So, oh, she'd do it in seconds. Yeah. Just a little bit of water, pick up the colour, and then we just drag it on here. So it all stands out. I'm just going to do this one. I'm not going to do them all because... Yeah. Life's short and you want to see some other things. Um, well, lots of love whilst we're watching you. Um, Sandra says, nice embossing and superb camera skills. That's from Sandra Dundas. Oh, there you go, Jamie. Yeah, well done, Jamie. There you go. Jamie He's, says, thank you. He does, says, thank you. Um, Kathy Kerr says, is that, is that you, Kathy, in Canada? I think it is, isn't it? Uh, I think it is. Kathy says, the uh, magnolias... Don't mention magnolias. Magnolias are just coming out here. Honeysuckle is still a way off. No, I don't have to put a, I don't have to put a pound in the magnolia. Oh, I said it again. I don't have to put a pound in. It's just if Leanne calls the collection that, not the honeysuckle collection. Do you have magnolia? Oh, I've done it. Do you have magnolias in your garden? Uh, My husband has a magnolia tree. A yes. magnolia tree. Like a bush, like a tree bush thing i need to do lots of research with um flowers and stuff this season once i sort my garden out because i feel like i don't know much um about all the different flowers and stuff a hanging basket is, is a nice thing to do i've done hanging baskets before you want to get some trailing flowers for that don't you, you need nice you need a nice moss lining do uh, not do not buy one of those rigid i oh know pre-manufactured linings lining things do you know, um, one, of the best ones, one of the best hanging baskets I ever bought, that was off Shopping TV, was, um, it was one where you could take, it was, it was obviously like a, sta it was like a plastic a standard sort of hanging basket, but it had little, um, I only described it as little drawbridges, that, so you could plant flowers down oh, the bottom. Oh yes, I've seen them. Then you put your next layer of soil on, plant another layer of flowers around, put your next layer of soil and then put them on top. And it also had this like, this sort of spout that you would put into the, 
into the actual soil. So then you'd water it down this funnel so the water would get straight to the, all the roots of the flowers and thus That's give cool. you a very um, bright and abundant hanging basket. And I had a lot of fun putting those together. Where did I get it from? I got it from another shopping TV channel that I couldn't possibly... <laughs> like what? No, 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 I didn't. I, I, I'll tell you after the show where I got it from. Now, <clears throat> you'll continue to colour your magnolias, go around, and then what I do is with whatever's left, I get a nice wet paintbrush. Yeah. Uh, so I'll mix up the colours and then I literally just fling them at the card. Oh. Like this. So this is just using up the colour off your mat. Oh, he's coming in. The superb ca uh, camera skills are being put to the test again. There we go. And then to get them to move around a little bit more, uh, to make them spread out a little bit more, you can spritz them. I'm looking for a spritzer. Oh. Here it is. Cool. You can spritz them and then they'll spread out in like a confetti Ooh, style. Oh, yes. Love that. Okay. So that's, how, that's what I would do. Paint that up and do that. I'm going to leave that to dry. And you could try it with your heat gun, but I'm just going to leave it to dry naturally and yeah. then show you the next bits that I would do because it's all about showing you all the different things. What have I done with it? Where's it gone? Come back. Oh, there it is here. Oh. So I've made a large 8x8 eight eight card base. Mm -hmm. And then um, a couple of different ways you can do this. I've got two different card samples I can show you. Where's the other one gone? Oh, and I'm not very organised today. You Where's what? that gone? I'm not very organised. I've lost a card. Here it is. Found it. So a couple of different ways you can do this card. You can do it larger in this way where you've got some panels. This one's been coloured with alcohol marker. Right. And I've got some lovely panels there. And then the finished piece would get matted and laid on here. Or you could do a smaller 7x7 seven seven card. Miss out the centre panel and just use the beautiful papers. It's entirely up to you. Alcohol coloured, water coloured, doesn't matter. Your choice. Put a B on it, don't put a B on it. Mm. You've got all of those elements there to work with. I'm going to stick with this uh, water coloured one here. And then what I like to do, because it's so heavily embossed, can you see all the splashes there as well when they've dried, when you've spritzed them, they look fantastic, don't yeah. they? Mm -hmm. Is to take Ooh. a little bit of gilding wax. Okay. And you need a tiny, tiny bit like ridiculous so I've hardly touched that and then I'm tapping it off on my glass mat so I've got the tiniest amount and then just go and catch the the most um raised areas of the emboss and it just gives this beautiful little shimmer so it feels like an aged piece of artwork with yeah. beautiful gold uh like gilt on it gilt finish like yeah. in a painting a picture it looks absolutely have i said it again yeah, but sparkly sue and sandra said you did and we've all missed it have i did did i say it again apparently you have said it again oh in the my last word minute. i need firing <laughs> i i tried right, firing. why I am i doing it? it what am i doing it for <laughs> right, i'm really enjoying the fact that nobody in the studio noticed you do it maybe we've just got used to it now um but thank you <laughs> Margaret says Magnolia again. <laughs> Me, honestly, Marigold. Marigold. <gasps> why, why? Why? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so look, once you've watercoloured it and then you've added in that little bit of gild just over the top of the higher is the splash in the back, your beautiful papers. How lovely is that? That's what I love to do with this 3D embossing folder. I like to watercolour it or I like to use alcohol That's markers on pretty. it you get a yeah. different look but it looks really lovely mm -hmm. doesn't it different color palette um and though however the duet ink pads yeah just rub them over with a blending brush look how soft that result is a little bit of gild and a little bit of glitter pen on there just to give it that bit of shine it's so pretty so three three different ways with that folder watercolor alcohol duet ink pad how beautiful are they 
uh, just so gorgeous and again all really very different um, using all the elements that you've got from the set so I'd to show you a few other cards as well I know a few people were um, talking about the vellum which I know we'll chat about later on in the show as well really love this card um, really really cute um, using the, um, the um, hexagon die and then you've got the um, the vellum there sort of torn and folded back to sort of reveal uh, that honeycomb which I think is really really cute L I love this set again here beautiful using the same um, stamp that you just sorry uh, the stamp which you've got in the set obviously there's an embossing folder as well but using that uh, same beautiful um, bumblebee that we're seeing all the way through the set used time and time again I know I showed this twice earlier on but I really love that card just makes me smile mm -hmm. like a little um, pop-up Z fold card again using loads of the different elements of the set um, including the edgeable the beautiful papers and then that stunning uh, bee of course which is also on the cutest little card in the set which is our little bezel card which i think is absolutely brilliant um i've got a lot of time for that a um, lot of lovely comments coming through as well uh, good morning from lewis in idaho says wonder my collection should be here tomorrow uh, i can't wait to add some of the black flock from the wild at heart to the bee that is a great shout i love that uh, love having Leanne on. You two are lots of fun and inspiration. We, we try, we try. Uh, love the gilding wax on there, um, says Cindy. Uh, Marigold and Magnolia, says Gilmore. Two great future collections, lol. Uh, you might not be too far wrong there, uh, Gilmore. Um, hi also to Jessica, who says, we lived in Louisiana for three years and our neighbor had an amazing magnolia tree. Um, and Cindy says, when you do the purple bus tour, it's not definitely confirmed or anything, so don't get too excited. Uh, when you do the Purple Bus Tour, make certain to come to Iowa during the State Fair. So many quilts and other soft crafts, it was listed in the book about 1,000 places you should visit in your life. Well, there you go. Um, if and when that does happen, we shall make sure we uh, stop off in our Purple Bus in Iowa. That and sounds like a little bit of me, that then. Does it? Yeah, it I love the, crafty places. I put love it on the itinerary then, Chibs. Yeah, definitely. Mark that down. I will. Um, uh, and Anne says, repeat after me, honeysuckle, honeysuckle. Honeysuckle, 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 magnolia. Microwave? <laughs> it's, uh, it's honey, no, I was... Oh, magnolia. <laughs> I was... Microwave. That's a microwave, darling. Microwave. Um, no, I will keep repeating it. I don't know why. I'm enjoying this fun game, though. I really am enjoying it, and I'm now... I mean, I'm always listening, obviously, being the presentation lead, but um, I'm listening. I think we are immune to it because we've heard it so many times. <laughs> uh, let's show you some other deals that we've got. Leanne's been mentioning, of course, the Aqua markers. If you want to do um, what she's just done, you'll need these. And actually, this is the deal that we held over from um, Sheena on... Th oh, I get confused when Sheena was in now because it's not Sheena Wednesday anymore, is it? She was in Thursday. So this is the deal that you guys absolutely love Thursday, which we've rolled over to today. It proves so popular. You've got your essentials and also your um, nature collection in there as well. Uh, 24 pens, of course. Uh, you're getting across the two sets but actually far more than just the 24 colors because of course you're adding your um, water to all of these to create all of these different effects and then of course once you lay these down whether you do it on your uh, mat or your glass mat uh, you can then start creating other different colors as well so yes 24 pens i suppose but i mean how many different colors you could be producing from these sets um, i wouldn't even like to kind of guesstimate this is your nature collection so all the colors in here sunset and amber beautiful chestnut fawn uh, desert and your topaz you've got uh, the evergreen you've got sea green kingfisher peacock blue marine and builder and then in your essentials collection uh, peach spice terracotta tan chocolate and sepia and black charcoal slate moths olive and lime 24 pounds or 36 dollars is your platinum price on that as i say rolled over from thursday which was a very very busy day with our sheena and then the other set which a few of you have spied the duet ink pads collection so it's called the honeysuckle duet ink pad selection it is not a new set of colors let me just reiterate that it's a, a selection of five of the um, duet ink pads that we think will work perfectly with this collection. Great price as well, by the way. £16 platinum is incredible. Or $24.80. I like that. Try me if you've never tried me. Uh, thank you, Nicola. It sounded better than... 
Yeah. Anyway, uh, so the colours you're going to get, spring bud. You're also going to get in here your rosy apple. It's a really lovely selection, this actually. Of course, the sweet clementine. Sweet clementine. Bum, bum, bum. Colours never seem so good. So good, so, so good. good, so, so good. good. <laughs> I love working here. Sunrise glow. And then also your lemon meringue. Um, so all five of those are included in that bundle. If you already have the duet ink pad collection, fish out yours uh, to come and have a play with this set. If you haven't yet got them, that might be the collection that you go for, particularly if you're in the US, to get your free shipping um, because that will take you over the threshold. And don't forget to get shopping on the Showstopper. That's not easy to say uh, because we are now at 60% of the stock gone. You are going to have to be pretty quick if you want to get that Showstopper with the freebies in it. Remember, no bonus by this time, but if you go for the Showstopper, we give you an extra 12 by 12 pad and then we give you for free an extra stack of your vellum and an extra 6 by 6 pad for absolutely nothing, not a zip, zero, zilch. So let's give you opportunity to get checked out. When we come back, we will read more of your comments and um, we'll get ready with some more demonstrations as well. Anything else that you want to see, uh, Margaret, I know you're waiting to see the Rocker Blocks in action. No doubt we'll see that and a lot more after the other side of this break. And we're going to hear from Tracy. Come in, check my emails, then clear this yours out in the studio, get pack shots up, then I will get new poles, pick shores, solve any problems that need solving. Um, we deal with other teams where we receive market and suites, we receive rods, we pick samples to send to Hobby Maker, we pick samples to send to QVC. We will take the previous shores of the studios, set the new shores up. We do floor manage occasionally, not all the time, making sure with that the craft expert presenters have everything at hand that they need. Anything that they haven't got during shores, we will run about and get the product for them. Think on a morning when it's really quiet, I can get more done when there's nobody else in the building. Night Owl. Coffee on the morning, tea the rest of the day. Savoury. Normally lunchtime. Craft along. Mobile phone. Christina's chicken wrap. You're my first, my life. Everything. Go home and make the tea. Day to day looks like on a normal day when I'm working from home, um, get up, breakfast, um, quick phone call with my daughter, and then I'm up in the craft room and I spend all my time in the craft room. It's spending a day with the grandkids, it's that's it, that's my best part of the day, just spending time with family and those gorgeous little grandkids of mine. The best part of the day when I'm at work is when I go on air because I absolutely love it. Both. I prefer a shower in the morning. I feel fresher. I feel that I can tackle my day. However, depending on how that day's been, I also would have a double shower, so I'd have one in the morning and one at night too. Absolutely, 100%. Coffee will always be coffee. And flavoured coffee is my favourite at the moment. Dare I say it, a full English breakfast, the full works, the beans, the tomatoes, the bacon, the sausage, and everything else that goes with a traditional English breakfast. 
craft along every day of the week. Um, I absolutely love going through the stages from the start of a project to the end of a project. So craft along is definitely my favourite choice. <laughs> I can't leave without my lipstick. <laughs> it's, a, it's a given thing. I once have a lipstick on me and Leanne helps out that day. Kick off the shoes, sit down for a couple of minutes, just gather my thoughts and then grab my tea. There we go, the Barnsley bombshell. What is she like? Um, the Do you know what? I, I, I just, I've never, I just, I don't think I've ever met such a genuinely kind and warm hearted person. One of my favourite people in the whole world. Oh, she's just. She never has a... You never hear Debbie speak a bad word. She is genuinely that... What you see there is what you see presented to you every mm. single time you meet her. She's just fabulous, isn't she? Yeah. And she gives the best hugs in the business. She does. Mm. You, you know you've been hugged when you have a Debbie hug. <laughs> yeah. It's like that You're not it. left into any... <laughs> no. you know, there's no doubt about the fact that you have been hugged. I love that. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. I, I wouldn't say, like, apart from sort of family, I'm, ma I'm a massive... You know, a lot, a lot of people are very tactile, very mm -hmm. huggy. I'm not like that naturally. But with Debbie, you mm -hmm. can't help but... Because you just get enveloped with love. You do. Don't you? You do. Yeah. It's, it's one of the best hug experiences you'll ever have, honestly. If you ever get the chance to see her, <laughs> ask for a hug. <laughs> you'll thank me later. Um, Bethan says, gorgeous cards, love the collection. I'm obsessed with bees. Well, that's absolutely why you need it. Uh, Cindy says, Ben, I see a song coming. We all craft on a purple tour bus instead of a yellow submarine. Uh, and Trista Sell says, my honeysuckle collection arrived on Saturday. I'm going to be playing with it today. Yay. Also, I've ordered some extra papers today. And hello again, says Polyco. Hello. She says, the magnolia trees are blooming now as well as the honeysuckles. My jasmine is also starting to bloom. I do like jasmine. <coughs> Smells nice, doesn't it? It's a, it's a very, I think it's a, a scent that will divide. I think you either like the smell of jasmine or you absolutely don't. Mm. Because it's quite pungent, isn't it? It's quite yeah. strong, quite talcum -y. I think I quite like it. Do you? I think so. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I like it, but then I have got a couple of friends who abhor it. Oh really don't like like when they smoke they're like oh i can smell jasmine from 50 mm. feet that like, no not for them jasmine in the summer breeze it's makes like me feel fine oh me oh i like that bit blowing like the jasmine in my mind summer breeze <laughs> <laughs> see isley brothers uh hi everyone from minnesota says kendall and wanda says is leanne chivers trying to tell us that there is a magnolia collection coming lol well, there isn't one planned, but I think I need to. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, we got oh, only 12 minutes left before the end of this hour. Are, are we going to squeeze in a quick demo yeah, before then? Yeah, we are. All right. Come on, we can do it. Let's do it. We'll do this thing. Come on. That was my Arnie, but do it's it not, now, nowhere Leanne. near as good as yours. We'll be waiting for us. Um, okay. <laughs> Come I on. absolutely love it when Ben does Arnold Swap. I feel like I'm in the studio with uh, with the actual Arnie. This is uh, good. Come on. Get the <laughs> dice. <laughs> Make the card. Come on. Get I'm to the Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's as good as mine, Miss Piggy. <laughs> Honestly. Mm. Right. Uh, okay, so I'm using the I'm using the little honeycomb. Uh, create a card and I'm cutting it into a piece of white card mm. just making up my sandwich oh yes um, because I uh, I've lost a white plate oh here it is um, using the junior plates in the Gemini too so it's a small die and I can you know you use whatever you've got at home I'm not using the metal shim it's not needed because it's quite a simple die uh, and we're going to make a shaker card okay. quickly Ben so I've got the white one done there Cut that in. There we go. And then I can keep those pieces keep those, to yeah. ink them up and use them for later because mm. they're nice little embellishments. I've done exactly the same on a black piece of card to make a drop shadow. Okay. And then I've started to ink the white one. So the ink I've been using for that for now is the shimmer. And so that is just going to... I'm just going to get a spare piece of white card. Bear with. 
because I don't want to ink them out and then get mess everywhere. A uh, little bit of shimmer. Uh, and I used it paler in the background there and then that can go over the top and that's going to make it really bright and pop mm -hmm. and then i'm also using honey pot okay um and honey pot will really give it that lovely gold bright look and feel you see how that's getting really lovely and vivid i want it to feel like spun gold like honey gold yes which would look incredible now, little top tip for you. I'm love honey pot, and it's getting that lovely deep gold colour on there. Look how gorgeous that is. But I really want the shimmer in there. So then I go back to the gold shimmer, and I go over the top of the honey pot, and it makes my honey pot ink pad water reactive, shimmery. Uh -huh. So you can mix the two together. So if you've got your shimmer and your water reactive at home, don't be afraid to layer the colours up and get that beautiful shimmer on there and that lovely gold look and feel but with that shimmer in so you can mix the ink pads together just a quick one as well probably shouldn't point it out but the star buy that we had on the gold shimmer ink pads from last week which was supposed to have been taken off is still on the website you can get uh the eight shimmer ink pads if you're platinum 24 quid <gasps> excuse me <laughs> yeah i know one two three four five six seven eight <laughs> eight gold shimmer ink pads 24 pounds platinum Wow. You're welcome, everybody. That is a deal and a half. Mm -hmm. Right, well, that's what I've been using there. And then you can add a little distressed edge here and there if you want to. Just make it your own. Yeah. Whatever you're comfortable with. I'm comfortable with that. We'll move on from there because time is of the essence. Then we're just going to stick it together. I'm going to get myself a tape pen. Just use a tape pen for now. So I'm going to do a little drop shadow, Ben. So on the top of this black piece, I'm putting my tape pen on there. And then I'm going to match. There they are, match yep. them. And then it's just going to come down and right a little way. Okay. So just to do the drop shadow, as you've seen us do before. And I'm just making sure I've got that lined where I would like it. There we go. So that just gives a nice little drop shadow to make those pop out. Then what I'm going to do is piece of acetate behind. Remember to do your tape pen flick. I wasn't doing that earlier. I was being a bad crafter. Oh, uh, yeah. Tape pen flick does help massively. Mm -hmm. There's my acetate. Remember to put your acetate on. Remember to put your acetate on. I mean, who would forget to do that? I mean, only an, only an incompetent shaker <laughs> card maker would forget to do that. <laughs> Just trimming that little bit of black off that's sticking out because I don't want it. There I we refer go. you to the earlier show if you don't know what we're talking about. Yes. And then I've got my... Oh, and there's a little bit of acetate sticking out there. Let's mm -hmm. get that off. That's fine. And then foam on a roll. It goes all around the outside. Mm -hmm. I'm running out of foam on a roll. We're going to need a new roll in the studio. I'm hoping I get all around the four sides here. It's I'm playing foam, foam on a roll chicken right now. A foam on a roll chicken. I think I'm going to make it. I think you are. Just. Just. Oh, you've got plenty to spare. I haven't, you know. I'm at the end of the roll. Oh, yeah. Oh, look <laughs> Literally at, at the end of the roll with no sticky on it. Look at that. It's kismet. 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 Yeah, That's what is. that was. Right. And then I've just got a little uh, mat and layer piece here. That I, Before I stick that on, I'm just going to collal all purpose the paper to the black card. And this is going to be my shaker topper. Then I do a nice little pile of the sequins or a large pile if you tip too many out. Always better Make to have a, a full shaker though, isn't it? It is better to have a full shaker. There's nothing worse than no shakers in your shaker. Mm. And that's why we give you that massive pot, yeah. a goodly amount, because you, you can you can be generous. You don't have to worry about them. You've got a good amount in there. Then the... Uh, how am I for time? Okay, good. I've got plenty of time. Take the foam off the back. There we go. And then that goes over. Oh. Yeah. 
Yes. There we go. That goes over and seals those shakers in. So you can see all of those. Perfect. How fabulous is that? Mm. All of those little sequins behind there. So that's now ready. Then we just make our card base. So I've got a nice tent fold card. I've got a piece of black card for matting and layering. I do find that um, if you're going to add another colour card stock to this collection, or if you've got a lot of our matte black card stock at home, use it. Right. Because I'm finding that, uh, when I've been using it, that the black is really making the colours from the paper pop beautifully. Mm. And for and look at that, it's like framing a picture. It's yeah. really gorgeous. Just that little edge of black makes all of the difference. Um, and if you're a new crafter, my top tip to a new crafter, the first two, th the first two things you need to master. First thing to buy, a guillotine. Yep. Without any doubt, straight edges. You don't want any donkey's back legs when you're crafting. <laughs> yeah. Donkey's back you legs. You definitely do know what a donkey's back leg. And then the thing to learn after that, to make your cards feel handmade rather than homemade is to mat and layer mat and layer mat and layer yes now now i have got my non-favorite method of dimension here we all know that i'm not a lover your non-favorite oh I, I, uh, i'm not a lover of a foam pad no unless that foam pad is stuck on with a wet glue. Yeah, yes. The and glue I... that comes on the back of a foam pad mm. is not enough. No. By any stretch to hold that card together forever. Over time, it's gonna... over time, it will dry out and fall off. Yeah. Uh, and your beautiful crafted heirloom mm. will be a disappointment to everybody who then picks it up. Yes. So when you've got your foam pads for lovely even dimension, yeah. always take your tacky glue and put a little smear of tacky glue across the back of every foam pad. And also this, I suppose, makes them a bit easier to stick because you're not committed to the stick straight away. Correct, you? Yeah. right, you can slide it around. Yeah. 100%. Mm. And then that goes there. There we go. Um, so now we've got our little shaker on our tent fold card and then fast forward, a little bit of a different shape, pop your little sentiment on, you are sweeter than honey. Aww. Use some of the little pieces that popped out uh, of your Oh, yes. When you good. cut them down and from your hexagon collection, do a couple of little embellishments and you've got beautiful shaker. And you can do it in a dark or you can do it in a lighter lemon. It's entirely up to you. Absolutely brilliant. Um, so many lovely comments still coming through. Lots of you, I think, taking inspiration from this show. I think a lot of you did buy earlier on. Um, but, you know, if there's anything else you want to see in the final hour of the launch day show, do get in touch. Um, lots of people chatting about Magnolia still. <laughs> Magnolia would be... Oh, I've Mag never said it again. No, no, you haven't said it again. Oh. I said it again. But people chatting about Magnolia. I said it again. Um, saying they'd like to see that as a future collection. And Stephanie says, my order is in. An extra 12 by 12 linen card and more sequins. Also a few pieces from the tropical collection. Last order until mid-May. I want to make sure I'm home to receive it. That tropical collection was so busy, wasn't it? on Friday. Uh, good morning, Mary Pat. However, don't miss Thursday. Oh, yeah. Thursday well, is pretty special. Thursday is the... Um, I'm a, you guys know, right? Don't you? Oh, no, you do know, because it's been put on Facebook. The Modern Man. The it's modern exceptional. Man. Yeah, the Modern Man, all based around... And you know what? We always said we wouldn't do a man's collection, and here we are. Because we've had so many requests. Give the people what they want. So that's what, that's what we're doing. We're giving you what you want. Mm. Um, we've also got a great launch tomorrow with those um, brand new creator card dies. Wednesday. Oh, the garden collection on Wednesday. I'm excited about that. Mm. Thursday, Modern Man. Friday. Oh, the numbers are launching. Plus, we've got, some, yes, some new paper pads. And there might just be a bit of a Sarah cartloady sort of thing are going on so it's there's lots to look forward to and there's more kind of birthday things being dropped in over the course of the week as well which i won't say too much about i remind you of everything in just a few moments time but as we head into the final hour of the day if you've got anything in your basket great time to get checked out right now and make sure you've got all the bits that you want from the amazing honey suckle collection hello and a very warm welcome if you've just joined us if you have just joined us where you been 
Where have you been? You've missed three fantastic hours. I mean, we haven't done three in a row, but we did two earlier on, launched um, the brand new Honeysuckle collection this morning. Hundreds of you shopping and buying, and more of you come back um, during this show, of course, to pick up those bits and pieces you might have forgotten about. Uh, maybe you didn't watch earlier on and you've now bought, or maybe you did buy earlier, um, and you're now just watching for the inspiration. Thank you so much. Whatever the reason is you're here, um, it is the first of seven launches this week. <laughs> if you want launches, you You've come to the right place. Um, the only problem you've got this week is to decide which launches you're going to go for. Unless you've got unlimited budget, you're going to get them all. Um, just have a look on Facebook. Again, you can see the schedule as to what is launching where. Safe to say, though, hundreds of you have jumped in and grabbed this brand new Honeysuckle collection. I think simply just because it is a beautiful collection and it's so very different to any of the floral collections that we've done before. And I think it affords you more opportunities of being able to craft with a different floral mixing and matching and cross-pollinating collections as we've heard so many of you have said about the honeysuckle working beautifully with the beautiful collection working beautifully with the hummingbird collection you know working beautifully with any other sort of florals that you've got there's lots of opportunity within the collection and then to go across other nature's garden sets as well so lots of reasons to jump and shop in and buy very quickly before we have another look around it i must just remind you that there's no sort of bonus buy bundle this time around however what we have done and i really like this is that we've we've made the showstopper like even better by sort of putting the bonus buy within the showstopper if that makes sense so for 91 pounds 99 platinum or 123 dollars 16 you get everything all right so you get your 12 by 12 paper pad six by six paper pad you get the beautiful vellum you get your linen caster all matched and, and you know uh, it's going to work beautifully with your papers you're then going to get your sequins as we saw in the last hour you're going to get all of your dies all of your stamps you're going to get your stamp and die sets you're going to get the embossing for everything basically you're going to get everything from the collection in your showstopper but then for an extra $14.99 or $19.95, you get this bundle here. So you get another 12 by 12 uh, paper pad. You get another set of the vellum. So 24 more sheets of the beautiful vellum. And you're going to get your 6 by 6 pad once again. It's like you're paying for this extra and then we're giving you these two for free. So I think it's a really nice way to do it because we know that you would have gone and bought more of the paper, more of the vellum, vellum anyway, so we've built it into the showstopper. There is a collection available on its own. I would say just disregard that because for an extra 14.99, you're not gonna get the collection and then add those in because you'll be doing yourself out of a, a deal there, wouldn't you? Get the showstopper and then if you want more paper on top of that, you can then pick and choose. If you're at the other end of the spectrum and maybe you're waiting for one of the collections later in the week or maybe you know your budget's a little bit smaller everything is available for you individually so you can pick and choose with it being sarah's birthday this week as well though we are obviously celebrating with her big sarah show is coming up later in the week there's something coming your way tomorrow tune in you'll find out uh, but today and running all week if you buy any of the brand new launches any of the seven brand new launches if you put one of Sarah's books into your car alongside that, so her new book that she launched last year and the one the year before, we can all make it. If you put either of those in, a, in your basket with a launch, you'll get 25% off the book. Few quick comments and then we'll go through the boards with Leanne. Hi to uh, Mary Pat who's joined us saying good morning. I love watching Leanne create her fabulous makes. Uh, Gillian Smith says another lovely collection and some great samples. Um, and Pat will answer your question in just a few moments time as well. No worries about that. Your question about an anti-static bag. But before we do all that, and I fire those questions at Leanne, let's take another look around this collection um, with Leanne because it is marvellous. And I think it's nice again just to have another flick through these pads, Leanne. I absolutely agree with you because they're glorious, Ben. It's nice to see exactly what you're going to get home and craft with. And also, I like to see the colour palettes in the mm. pads to see if it's for me. So our papers, 180 GSM, double-sided. The backs of the papers, also a hero. We don't, um, we don't make that easy for ourselves. We also design the back beautifully to coordinate with the front. The front of the paper pads, you've got these beautiful honeysuckle in here and then you've got the pops of colour which are absolutely gorgeous the colour palette in here is oh, exceptional yeah. mm -hmm. you've got beautiful golds you've got mauves you've got beautiful uh, magenta and hot pinks you've got the lovely lush greens in here uh, which really do feel quite 
um, summer garden, I think. We've got the softer taupes with the beautiful honeysuckles. You've got those beautiful blush corals in there as well. Those lovely turquoisey sea greens. Um, we've got this lovely taupe. I love, that might be my favourite. Yeah, you keep adore. stopping on that one, so I, I think it really, is. I really, really love it. I think it's because the um, honeysuckles really, I nearly said it. I nearly said the word. I had to stop myself and save myself. Oh. And it was in my head and nearly came out my mouth. I don't know why. <laughs> the honeysuckles <laughs> on this page really do pop out. Yeah. Um, and then we've got the lovely verdant lush greens in there and then these lovely blue turquoises. Just an absolutely exquisite paper pad, mm. every single one. You've then got that exact thing in six by six. These are just sized down. So they're sized down so you can use them on a full project if Perfect. that's what you'd like to do. Mm -hmm. um, so exactly the 12 by 12 just shrunk down to 6 by 6 in size. So all of the papers in the 12 by 12 repeated in that 6 by 6 for you. You've got your linen card stock in the eight colours of the colour palette of the paper pad. Beautiful quality linen yeah. cardstock. You know our linen cardstock is gorgeous in those lovely, vibrant colours. 24 sheets of that there for you. Then we've got our vellums. You've got 24 sheets of these, six different designs. And our vellums are beautifully vibrant. You can see again, it's those gorgeous 12 by 12 papers, which have been sized to 8 by 8. And you've got those lovely pops of colour, mm. which are absolutely gorgeous um, in the vellums so that's all of the paper and card that comes in your collection then you've got the design elements so the first one to show you is this beautiful creator card yeah. i absolutely adore it i have to say uh, and this is what it looks like when it's cut in and then colored it's glorious and that's the one you made first yes show, wasn't it? that's in the first if you want yeah. to know how to do that go to the first show um then we've got this lovely cut-in honeycomb. That's what I've just used yep. to make the shaker card. We've got our hexagon nesting dies, which create little shaker windows for you. Jeez. Or the reason we designed them was so that you can use all of your paper pieces mm -hmm. up. So you don't have any waste. You can do that lovely patchwork design. 3D embossing folder in here is absolutely exquisite that was the first demo i did this hour for you you can use it in a lovely watercolored way you can use it with alcohol markers you can do it very subtle if you want to we've got the uh, honey sentiment with that lovely honey bee hmm. it's a die cut honey and bee and then all of those stamps work with the word honey so that you can customize your sentiment for example here to my honey bee We've got a beautiful, beautiful edgeable design from that lovely um, honeysuckle there. It nearly came out of my mouth again. <laughs> I love the fact that you're like second guessing yourself now. And now I'm thinking, is it a honeysuckle or is it the other thing? <laughs> it's not, it's a honeysuckle. It nearly came out of my mouth again. Uh, and you can see that beautiful four uh, edge there. And of course, you can see that sentiment again here. Kind words are like honey. It's just replicated all the way through. It looks gorgeous. I love this illustrated uh, uh, honeysuckle stamp. I think it's absolutely, it's absolutely good. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. And when you, you colour it in, this is um, heat embossed in black, yeah. heat embossed in gold, and then just inked with duet or aqua marker and spritzed. Looks absolutely gorgeous. There's that little uh, cut in creator card honeycomb that I've just used there for little mm. shaker elements in the background. Just a little suggestion, but it looks glorious. Um, colour it in with alcohol marker too if you want to. And then finally, or second from finally, beautiful sentiments which are perfect to this collection. Really unusual that you won't, re you won't see in lots of other places. So it gives you something gorgeous to go with. Uh, uh, one of my favourites on there, which we haven't mentioned up to now, let it be. Um, where's that? Here. Oh, let it yes. be. Yes. Let it be. Let Can't it be. Sing. Thank you. You can do that much better than I can. Let it be. Speaking words, words of wisdom. wisdom. Let, let it, it be. be. Yeah. And then we've got a massive pot of these gorgeous sequins for you as well, uh, which are glorious. They're really like, just like a nectar, aren't they? They're absolutely beautiful to do your shakers or your little accents and embellishments. That's also in the collection. It's a beautiful collection. There's not one thing in there where I would think, maybe it's could have done without that mm. because it's all gorgeous. 
It is gorgeous. I love this collection so much. Can um, I show you a couple more cards? Oh, I was going to, but you can. Well, I'm, because there's just some. Can I? I'm sorry. I know I'm being demanding. I just have to show you this because I didn't notice it before. So I've been looking at that, right? Kind words are like honey, which is lovely. And I love it. This is from Rebecca. Rebecca, I think you've done an exceptional job of this because that looks lovely. But look at this. Oh, oh. Love it. oh I love that. I've I not that. seen that today. Look, I've never seen. Look, kind words are like honey. Be awesome! And look with all the little piece cut out, the little die, the sentiments, the bee, the fancy fold. Rebecca, I flip and love that. I re that might now be a new favourite, Ben. Oh, hello. Honestly, I yeah. really think that is so clever. Thank you, Rebecca. Uh, Julia's done this. I love this. This has taken the little hexagon and then built out the rest of that patchwork design using different techniques, scraps of paper, which I absolutely think is beautiful. And then Rebecca again, you're cooking on gas. Look at the stepper card with that 3D embossing folder is gorge. And then I love this with a little legible too. Um, so I think there's some really lovely ones and all of these very different, Ben. Absolutely. What have you got? Um, well, I keep, I mean, I'm a bit of a creature of habit here because I've shown you these throughout the day, but I love, this is one that um, Rebecca's designed once again. I mean, how cool is that? Like a Z fold, but then with that pop-up element with the bees all love. there. It's I so love that. fun, isn't it? Yeah. It's and that's using the edgeable as the yeah, Z. as the Z. So clever. And that's what I quite like about this collection as well, is it can be like a little bit more, I don't know exactly what the word is, but like a little bit more grown up. But then at the same time, you can have a lot of fun with this and create cards, which I think like the kids will appreciate yeah. as well. Love that. I also um, just wanted to show you, because we always chat about cards, but it is great for kind of home decor pieces, scrapbook pages as well. I mean, that I just think is a sensational um, scrapbook page obviously replaces your picture um, but I love the fact that it's been adorned again by that beautiful edgeable loads of different sentiments there some of the beautiful papers used and that B who's in that stamp and die set we absolutely love it he's been used many times over and of course I could not not show you the little bezel which I think is probably my favorite card of the day so far little mini card but I think absolutely brilliant and it just gives you the idea of the kind of things that you can create with this set and again, if you're one of those people, many people who've mentioned that you're going to be using this with your beautiful collection, going to be using this with your um, hummingbird collection, and you've got so much added scope with this too. Um, thank you everybody for commenting. Stephanie says, gorgeous, gorgeous samples. Can't wait until I can watch the first part of today's launch. You have to wait, not very long at all, because it will be on here on 24 seven, straight after this show. So you can watch the earlier launch. Uh, Stephanie says also, I found my original Brenda spray box. I thought I'd lost her when we moved. Uh, she's even wearing CC packing tape. Now I have a mother slash daughter. Oh, that's nice. A little family of, of, of Brenda's. Um, hello, Mary Pat. Hello, Gillian, who's joined us as well. Um, and Pat, I'll ask you a question now as we get into the next demo here. This is slightly off topic, but it's fine. Um, Pat says, uh, she was going through a box and she's found an anti-static bag. She says, what was the purpose of the bag? I'm thinking it had to do with something with stamps, but I'm having a senior moment, says okay. Pat. Okay, the anti-static bag is, when I did in the first hour, when I did the heat embossed card with mm. the gold, you would rub the card before you, before you stamp and before you sprinkle the powder on. And what that does is stop the powder clinging where you don't want it to go. So when you're using a heat embossing powder, rub the piece of card or whatever it is you're going to be heat embossing before you do anything else and then it'll take all the static away and the powder will fall away and only stick to the sticky bits there we go good question thank you uh, pat um, i think we are pretty much all ready and up to date we are ready for the next demo are you going to be um just for who was it who asked earlier i can't remember now Someone was asking about rocker blocks will you be stamping it i am place? i'm just getting myself a piece of card ah, out now fine. and uh, um uh, uh a block and an ink pad it's okay. there and now I just need to find my stamps because I remembered that there was a lady yeah. said can you show me the rocker blocks again was. because I struggle so I I'm thought well, let's do that so there's the stamps it was uh, no I'm trying to find who it was it's was definitely in this show wasn't it hmm hold fire please Paula I want to find out who that was it was Mm. <laughs> Sorry, that was a strange mm. noise. Margaret Birch. Margaret. Can Leanne show me how to use the rocker blocks as I never seem to be able to do it, says Margaret. Yes, Margaret. Margaret, we're going to show you right now. So I am going to do it now, Margaret. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I've walked away, but I'm back. I was just searching for the perfect ink pad. Okay. Because we all know we need the perfect ink pad in our life. Right. Yes. So I've got my honey pot and gold shimmer ink pads again. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to make myself a background. Um, and I'm not going to do too much of this because you've seen us do it before. Yeah. But just so you get the, the general idea. I'm starting with honey pot. This is watercolour card. And I'm just going to randomly apply the ink. Okay. I don't want it to be, I want it to feel aged and weathered. So I don't want it to be perfect. Mm -hmm. I want it to be bolder and lighter in places. So that means whack it on in any old fashion. <laughs> I love that. Just whack it on. Just slap whack it, it down. on. Crack it down. Crack it it's down. gonna be right. Yes. Okay, that's good. Um, and then I'm going to get a little bit of the shimmer because I want some shimmer in there. And I'm going to get that. And I've got that lovely gold shimmer coming through. Ooh. 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 I like that a lot. And then I've got a Harmony Water Reactive. Oh, hello. Flung across my desk. Hello, Harmony Water Reactive. Uh, I'm just going to clean this mess up because I will get my arm in it. Uh, right, OK. And then I'm going to take this lovely little, from the Honeybee collection, this lovely little honeycomb. Yeah. And then I'm going to randomly stamp that with my rocker block. Okay. And so um, this, is not, this is not the demonstration for the okay. lady with the rocker block. I'm going to do that when I do the bee. Yeah. But you can see me using it here. So I'm just choosing some areas. I'm adding the ink and I'm rocking it on. Uh, and it makes it so much easy. It really is. It's that simple. If you've struggled with stamping before, this will change your life. It's that It's that much of an epiphany when you use it. Mm. It's so, so easy to do. So I'm just putting some little bits of honeycomb all around there. That'll do for now. Uh, and then because it's Harmony Water Reactive, I can do some for bleaching. Um, and I can do some spritzing to get it to feel a little bit more weathered. So then I'm going to flick my water on in places and do a little spritz to get some of that ink to move. There we go. So it feels a little bit aged. And then blot that away. Ooh. See how it's all starting Ooh. to feel a little bit more aged and weathered. Yeah. Uh, been through the ringer a little bit. Been through the ringer. Been through the ringer. I know the feeling. Now, for the final card, which is this, mm. which is what we're creating here, um, I didn't have the emboss on it, but you know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that putting that little, th putting a pit that through with that 3D folder will look a bit fancy. So I'm adding something to it, Ben. So this is called live crafting changing your mind on the go crafting on the hoof crafting on the hoof that's yes. what this is called Ooh. so i've got my 3d folder out wherever i put it here it is and then i've got that piece that i've just done there and what i'm going to do is just choose i'm going to choose there okay and then i'm going to put that through the embossing folder through the sandwich. This as is well. another great demo as well, because does anyone else ever get stuck in that moment of, oh, the embossing folder is this size, I must use a piece of cardstock that corresponds to the exact size uh, of the oh, embossing no, folder? No, absolutely not. No. Stick any bit of cardstock in any yeah. size at any part of the design. Mm. It's going to look absolutely gorgeous. Uh, right, so look now. Come on. I am yep. very excited mm -hmm. about that. Right, I'm going to get some gold. That. Guild and wax. Uh, oh, I'm so happy about that. In fact, before I do that, before I do that, I'm going to do something else. Oh, she's off, she's off on I'm the off hoof again. again. I'm off on the hoof again. On the hoof. Um, I'm going to get another shimmer ink pad. Um, don't forget the shimmer ink pads, the gold shimmer ink pads are still on that star by deal. Type it in in the search box. I, I think we do have some of the gilding waxes available for you as well, but um, do check those out. Various golds available, I think, on the web. Just cleaning my brush. Okay. I'm just going to tickle this. So that's a tiny bit, and then... <laughs> yes! Oh, look! That is oh. beautiful. Just a little tickle. Oh, oh yes. 
<laughs> I'm enjoying all the noises more than anything. Oh, oh yes. look, Ben. Look. That's amazing. It really does pop out. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so happy I did that. Yeah, that's good. That's made something that was lovely. Perfection. <laughs> I mean, I'm congratulating myself right there. I wish everyone had seen your face there when uh, you did that as well. I went all Lisa Tarbuck, didn't I? You did, and the eyebrows went a little bit Roger Moore, actually. They did a little bit. Perfection. And now I'm doing Gildan Wax. So this is where a case of where it was less is more, and now it's more is more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm Oh. Which of the Gildan oh. Waxes is that? Is that the... This is... Empire. Where does it tell me? I think this might be Empire. Yeah. Or King. I think it's Empire. Oh, I'm just, I'm, I'm in awe of this now. I'm very happy. Mm. This has made something that was just, you know, it was lovely. Don't get me wrong it's elevated it to another level Has. and that's that using the embossing folder partially in a way that you would not have expected to use an embossing folder so if i just wiggle this at you now oh yeah wiggle look at away. that on every wiggle level away. that looks fantastic does it not thank you thank you i thank you so now we're going to make the card base because i do want to do the stampy rocker block for margaret get the ladies in for margaret right margaret i'm now putting paper together here um i'm using, I'm using my clal all purpose it's my only glue of choice when it comes to matting and layering and assembling a card base we oh yeah did you speak to patrick and um Renee? to Renier. 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 Did I did not have time because I had to rush to a meeting yeah. in between. Tomorrow. But I will be speaking to Patrick and Renier re the glue bottles. The glue the litre glue bottles with my face on. Yes. And don't forget the And the tacky glue with the dad jokes on. With the dad jokes on yeah, for Ben. The yes. tacky jokes. So my face needs to be on the bottle? Yes. Okay. I mean why Absolutely. not? Absolutely. Why not? I'm up for that. Being on a glue bottle. One hundred percent. I'd love that. Would love that. With your tacky jokes. Exactly. The birthday, birthday limited editions. Yeah. And I like to think, you know, I've suggested stuff to Leanne before, and um, she's a lady of her word. Take, for example, yeah. my uh, Ben Mosby limited edition, Simplicity Without Electricity, um, MIDI, which yep. um, still gets used. So, yeah. So, glue bottle with tacky jokes, here I come. Oh, Ben, I, do you know I'm so happy with this? It's beautiful. I love it so much. Mm. You know what? Sometimes when you're at home and you're just crafting something and you congratulate yourself. Yeah. This, I'm, I'm doing that now. Well, I'm Donna Yam says she loves the off the hoof method. I mean, I should stick to the plan. If I was a uh, good craft demonstrator, I would stick to the, the plan. But I think, aren't you doing um, what lots of people do at home? You're not telling me that everybody sticks to the plan when they're crafting in their craft room. That's very true. And Sheena, uh, zag to your zig or zig to your zag, she certainly never sticks to what she says. She we, really doesn't. We have a plan. and In she, life, never mind craft. Well, exactly right. <laughs> yeah, zigzags all over the place. All, all over the place. Mm. So now that's going in the middle. Notice I put my tacky glue on the back of my foam pads. So I'm happy with that there now. So now we're going to do for Margaret the B. Mm. Okay, Margaret. So with a rocker block, these stamps are self-cling. Um, and so you don't need to do anything to them. They will stick straight away to your rocker block. Yeah. And then I'm going to use my alcohol proof dye ink. Okay. And actually, just to point out to everybody, there are crosshairs on the rocker block. So if you want to get your stamp perfectly straight, you can line that up in the center of the crosshairs and know you've got a perfectly straight stamp. Then I'm going to ink up the B. Yeah. So that's uh, lots of light tapping. Don't worry if you get ink anywhere other than on the B. So you see how messy I've got it all around here. Um, because that will not transfer when you stamp. And is there a point where you just kind of know it's, it's ready to go? I, mean, I, wonder uh, if I just like to keep whacking it on there so I've got plenty of ink on so okay. that I'm not disappointed later. I've lost my foam pad. Where is it? Where the foam stamping pad? Uh, oh, here it is oh, here. I've kicked it off. How has it ended up down there? I have no idea. Uh, it's over here on the floor. I've got mm, it back. Here it is. is. Got it. I'm back. Um, and then I like to stamp on a foam mat. We sell the foam stamping mats on the website. We do. They're just, uh, I think they're a fiver. They're not expensive. 
And then what you do is you put the, so the rocker block is curved. Mm. So I'll show you in profile. It's got a slight curvature on it, mm -hmm. two handles, and then you've got these guide rails on either side. These guide rails mean that the surface of the rocker block will never touch your project. Okay. Only the surface of the stamp that you've inked will, which means when you put it onto its heel, so you see it's up in the air. Thank you. So it's up in the air, yeah. like that. And when we say rock forward, we are literally rocking on the rails with the rocker block. So we go forward and in one motion, start at the heel, rock forward, come off on the toe, and you've got a perfect image every single time. And none of that mess, I'll just get a bit of kitchen towel and show you, that definitely is wet ink. None of that, see no black on my kitchen towel. Mm. None of that black ink transfers, transfers onto your project because of the clever design of the rocker block. I wonder why Margaret has had a problem with that. I wonder, because you, you were very sort of, you know, once you went for it, you went for it. Just don't went for don't it. be hesitant with it. Don't Just, be hesitant. Yeah. Just rock forward, heel yeah. to toe. Yeah. The rocker block will do all of the work for you. Mm. You don't need to think that there's anything magic you need to do. You don't need to stop, hesitate, use any pressure. Just put it down, rock it. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Um, just have another go and Go with confidence, yes. Margaret. I think that would be my advice to okay, you. Okay, Margaret. Let us know how you get on anyway. Yes, I do. Right, so now what I've also done um, is I've stamped the B and then I've coloured the B just with a tri-blend marker. So you can see that there. And then I've used the die to cut the B out. So that's the die cut. I've also got... Here it is here. One of them cut out in an orange cardstock from the collection. I've done the same for the Honey Sentiment. Uh, so I can do a little drop shadow there, okay. which I think will look really pretty. And then I've got a couple of the other sentiments. So to glue these together, I'm going to use a little bit of my, um, actually I'm going to use tip. I'm just going to use all purpose. I'll tell you just what, from the comments that are coming in, Leanne, I think this is the most loved card of the day so far. Oh, thank you. And it's one that you've just hoofed. Hoofed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit American football, that, isn't it? <laughs> um, do you know what, though? I'm really enjoying this one, which is why I'm doing a beginning to end. Mm. Hang on, I need a it's different worth it. pad. I need a little circle. Amazing, says Cindy. Bethan says, this is stunning. Um, and Shell says, thank you, Ben and the Am, for a fantastic day. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Oh, um, gosh, thank you. Uh, do you know what? Whenever we get comments like that, we're always genuinely touched and mm. grateful and stephanie just saying second person i've seen say this today the wild at heart flock powder would look fabulous on the bee yes it would mm, that's a great shout that is a really good shout if you have got that do you know what this has proven it's a oh those on. are circular ones yes yeah I, I, I had a bit of a problem with those the other day I don't did know you they've been in the studio too long or what? have they been have they been lying around a bit yeah, long i think they have let's get the what on the go Oh, a foam pad fridge. Oh, go away. I don't like you. You're not no, my friend. You're not my you friend. You would put more than one on. I'm just yeah. putting one on for now because mm. you don't need to see me wrestling with that. Okay, so that can go here it's beside that honeysuckle. That's lovely. Mm -hmm. um, and then that can go here. I'm going to use some all purpose for this. There we go. Uh, a little bit of that, honey, and then a little drop shadow. Yes, and then I've beautiful. got to my honey. So I do that all the time. Nicola's gone, ooh, and I do that all the time with my porky tool, Nicola. What did you do? I missed it. I'll show you. So when I can't, okay, when I can't, I'm going to bring it closer so you can see. When there's these small pieces mm. and I can't pick them up. Mm -hmm. Oh, you just stab it. Yeah, just stab it. Oh. And look. Ah, uh, okay, okay. It's uh, honestly, it just it just saves a lot of hassle in your life, and because the point of our porky tool is so fine, you can't you can't, you can't see, see anything. The hole. No, not at all. So well, it really does make it easy. Another so, top tip. Oh. Oh, hello. 
See, drop it, stab it. Uh, to my honey bee. Right, that took a little bit longer than I'd planned because I went off piece. It was worth it though. And I've got that as a little drop shadow there now. To my honey bee, nice and straight. Little honey bee. There we go, done. Um, and if I just show you the difference between the two, I think, I just think it's, what do you think? I mean, you're, the one that you've hooked is um, significantly... I, well, it's just elevated, day. isn't it, Ben? Mm. It's elevated. Let's have a look. and the, You can see it there like that. And actually, I would do some nice matting and layering inside with the paper. I think it's a little bit elevated. You get all of that lovely flash of gold coming through there. I have realised that is now wonky, that top air. I'm going to take that off and put that back on again because that's bothering me. This top air. It? Yeah, it's not uh, straight. Hang on. This well, needs we'll let, to come we'll off. let you off. Hang on. There, that's better. It's straight now. I couldn't, but I couldn't. I couldn't let it. I couldn't let it go, Ben. There we go. It's nice and straight now. I think we all agree that is a marvellous make, and we enjoyed the uh, the hoofing. Um, Stephanie says, "I think I will be using this card as an anniversary card to my hubby. It will be 49 years this May. 49. Congratulations. We'll be celebrating in Italy this year, somewhere in Tuscany. Oh, that sounds marvellous. Gorgeous." Oof. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, and Linda Armstead has joined us as well, saying hello from Maryland, everyone. Listen, let me remind you again very quickly before we go to a break of uh, everything. And then I guess when we come back, we'll, we'll have time to squeeze in probably one more demonstration for you. So um, hang about for that. If you've not yet bought the Showstopper, uh, we are over two thirds of the stock of the Showstopper now gone. So really, really busy. I think so many people have fallen in love with this collection. And even people who perhaps had an eye on collections later on in the week, who were like, oh, you know what? I might just sort of pick and choose from the honeysuckle. The amount of people today have gone, oh, I was just cherry picking. And then they've come back and bought the whole collection. Um, you can see why you've fallen in love with it. It's a beautiful set. The Showstopper is the way to go if you're going for a lot of items, right? Don't buy the collection on its own. I'll tell you for why, because if you go for the Showstopper, you get everything. So everything that Leanne's been playing with, 12 by 12 pad, the corresponding beautiful linen cardstock to match, the six by six pad, your um, 24 sheets of vellum in there, all of your hardware from the stamp and die sets to the beautiful dies to those um, beautiful embossing folder, everything is in there alongside, of course, your beautiful, beautiful pot sequins. That's all included. But then the showstopper deal this time is for an extra $14.99 or $19.95, we give you another one of the 12 by 12 pads. You also get the vellum once again, so 24 more sheets of the vellum included and you're going to get another one of our six by six pad. Basically, it works out that you pay for an extra 12 by 12, but we then give you the vellum and also the six by six for absolutely nothing. So the way that I kind of work it out is that you know normally we'd have a bonus buy and say, oh, we'll get this half price. We basically bung the bonus buy into the showstopper. Um, and that's what I think you guys have absolutely loved. If you then decide that you want to buy more of the papers or more of the vellum, more of the linen card stuff, you can get that individually. Everything that is within the showstopper is still available currently for you as an individual item too. So if you do decide you want to cherry pick, you've got the opportunity to do that. And also just worth bearing in mind that if you are buying today's launch, indeed, if you're buying any of the launches across this week, it is Sarah's birthday week. And to celebrate that, you'll get 25% off any of her books. So if you decide you want to pick up uh, either of her books, put them into your cart with your launch or with your showstopper in this case, and then you'll automatically get 25% off those books as well. And lots more to come besides this week. As we've mentioned, uh, we've got six more launches coming your way uh, to squeeze in over the course of the next four days. Uh, we've got an amazing cartload show coming up later in the week and some other little surprises for you too. Um, we... I've just got a quick something I need to show you which is what I'm waving for frantically. Okay. Uh, we were asked for vellum uses, weren't we? Yes. So what I've just taken is a sheet of that beautiful vellum and I've trimmed it down and folded it in half so that it's gonna go inside the card. And then on the piece that opens, so on the top, I've put a tape runner down there. Okay, so not on the back, don't glue your vellum at the back. Glue it on the top. And then when you put it in your card and you close it, and then you open it, your vellum opens with 
the card mm. so you can have a nice little vellum insert in there you can stick the back if you want to but i like to do that and then you can write your message underneath if that's what you want to do and just gives a little peek to it generally with vellum because i was one of those people i think a little while back going oh vellum what on earth to do with it it's so pretty but what do i do with it i think in my mind whatever you would potentially do with a paper pad you do with a vellum pad right Oh, 100 percent and more yes and more mm. and more you can put it behind an aperture because then it's see-through you can use it as an insert you can make an envelope from it you can die cut it you can fold little uh, pieces from it fold a flower Tear, die cut nice. flowers tearing it looks lovely use it as a layering piece so many different ways of using it i think we need to do a master class on vellum mm. we need to yeah. plan that in don't we I think it's one of these things, as I say, these people tend to be a little bit afraid of, but certainly you don't need to be. Um, thank you for the rocker block, says Margaret. Uh, rocker block demo. She didn't, she had to feed the dog, uh, but thank you. So she's going to watch that back. And she says, Leanne, I will have another go tomorrow. Margaret, have another go and report back. Uh, we want to know how you got on. We'll keep our fingers crossed it all goes well. Right, slightly later than advertised, but worth seeing. Uh, we are going to have a little break. So opportunity for you to get your baskets checked out, any last minute bits and pieces. And even if you shopped earlier on, are you sure you've got enough of the consumables? If you haven't, get them in your cart and your basket and we will meet you back here in about four minutes where it will be time really for the final demo. So uh, whilst we kill a bit of time, let's say hello to the Haughty Scorty. Hey. I like to get up, chill, relax, get a cup of tea, get myself sorted. And if I'm presenter, I'll write all my notes. If I'm the demonstrator, I'll get my prep out, have another look at it, make sure that everything is the way it needs to be for the show. show. Then what I'll do is I'll grab something to eat, then have another look at the sheets again, making sure the next show's all good to go. Then we do that show tidy. I always like to make sure that the area is nice and tidy, either for myself the next day or whoever's in jump in the car, head home. I will quickly unpack what I need to unpack and then I get on that sofa as quick as I can. Soon as we go live, I love that within our live shows, I always get the butterflies. Soon as we get that countdown in our ear that we're just going live, butterflies kick in and within about 10, 15 seconds, I'm going. Butterflies have gone and we just enjoy the show. Early riser. Oh, shower in the morning. Tea. Oh, savoury breakfast. Masterclass. My mobile phone. Oh, anything with chicken. Currently, it is the weekend, blind and light, and it has been for about a couple of years, and I still love it. Uh, in the car, chilling on the sofa, watching TV. My day-to-day -day life is uh, pretty busy in where literally I get in the door, I check my polls, uh, I then check what I've got to demo, I get everything ready um, and it's just busy, busy, busy from there. I, um, I have a meeting with the producer, the director, we get then sorted for the shows, uh, talk to the presenter um, and it depends what side I'm on. I mean sometimes I'm doing the presenting side, sometimes I'm doing the demonstration side and I love both. It's actually who I get to work with. That's, yeah, I can't say more than that other than anybody that works here. Uh, we are a big family. We're so super friendly. Um, I love Ben. I love it when we went to work. I don't mean that I don't love anyone else. It's the fact that he's the presenter and then I'm frustrated. And we just have this rapport. Uh, same with Craig, same with Deb, same with the whole team. So, yeah, the best part of the day is just getting to work with the best people in the industry. Oh, a night out. Uh, in the morning. Oh, none. I only drink water. 
Oh, well, it's not sugar, so it's pretty uh, savoury. <gasps> Masterclass. Oh, I can't leave the house without my lipstick. Oh, I love a baked potato. I relax, so I literally drive home normally and then I relax. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. I just did a little shimmy. Do you like the drums at the end of that video? <laughs> Anyway, um, lots of people will, will ask the question again now because now people have gone, oh yeah, Vellum Masterclass, that sounds like a great idea, Cathy Kerr. A Masterclass on Vellum, says Stephanie, would be wonderful. Uh, and Cathy Kerr says, nice Leanne, I've been using the Vellum inside my cars lately too. We will certainly um, pop that forward to the powers that be. I want to say though, if you do check back, if you go on to our YouTube page, we have done them previously. I know we kind of, you know, um, like glue schools and all these kind of things, we, we, we do um, a few times over the course of the year. But yes, if you need to see a Vellum Masterclass, there is definitely one, I would say maybe the back in the last year, we perhaps did the last one. Oh, oh wow. 11th of August, 2022, Masterclass, all about Vellum with the fish, I've just been told. We've done one since then as well. How did you find that so quickly? Oh, she searched, she, being Nicola, searched Vellum um, on YouTube. We have got about 16 minutes remaining, Leanne. Yeah. Are you going to do your final demo as you planned or are you going to be going hoof? Again? I'm hoofing it because I'm going to show you how to make an envelope from Vellum. Oh, nice. And then if we get time, I'll do that. So, you're going to take your, so if you've got your um, enveloper, mm -hmm. if you've got your Ultimate Pro or your enveloper at home, you're going to follow the instructions for an A6 envelope or an A2 envelope. You need an 8x8 piece of paper, card, vellum, whatever it is you're going to do an envelope with, to make that size. So, I've cut a piece of card here to that size. Um, and then all you do, if you don't have an enveloper or what have you, get one on the website, they're fantastic. Yeah, yeah. But if you want to just have a go at doing it without, what you would do is Ooh. turn your piece of vellum into a diamond shape mm -hmm. towards you. Take your piece of card and put that in the centre. And then just take a, a minute to get that straight. Okay, so that looks straight to me. Then what you would do is with your bone folder, take your piece of paper up and your piece of vellum, I beg your pardon, mm -hmm. and burnish. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you do that on all four sides. When you've done that on all four sides, <laughs> this is what you've got. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so there's my card, and then this is my envelope that is going to go around my card. So all I would do now is bring in the two sides first with my tape runner, because our tape runners don't show up on vellum. So for a glue that is not obvious on vellum, our tape runners are fantastic. Glue those two diagonal pieces there. Bring the bottom up. Yeah. Stick that in place. And then depending on how professional you want to be, fold that down. Took that in. I mean, that was super duper simple, that. Yeah, it is. Could not be more simple. Yeah. And then now you've got the top of your envelope to close. And if you're sending that to someone, tape runner again. So let's say that's your note inside or your little your decorative card that then comes down on top and that goes in the post or hand delivered and that does not look like a boring old envelope it does certainly it? doesn't it's not so a bill. that's how easy it is to make a beautiful uh, oblong envelope from a piece of your vellum if that's what you'd like to do that was brilliant you're welcome i absolutely love that good um just a very quick one but yeah. it gives you another idea mm -hmm. Um, and thank you, Rebecca, who's just joined us. Rebecca Davies says, hey, everyone. Super late to the show, so I'll have to catch up. Uh, Honey Suckle Collection is my new top fave collection. Just saying, hashtag just saying. Hashtag we know, Rebecca, because hashtag been showing loads of your makes throughout the day today. Um, so thank you for... That. What was that? The, all the pop... The Z, Z Fold oh, Bees. Oh, yes. This is Rebecca's card. The cool... Be Did you call it the cool bees card? It is cool bees. Look, this is Rebecca's, look. Yes. Rebecca, just, I'm not saying this because you've just arrived. My joint 
No, I don't have the central day card. My, jo my joint favourite card of the day, my side, that one and that one, the little bezel. Those are my two faves. So, yeah. Woohoo! Yes. Now, anyway. I need mm -hmm. some form on a roll. Oh, we ain't got. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get you some. I need some. I need some form on a roll, please. A fine one. A fine one. A thin one, please. Thin one, then. Jake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get you some, Jake. <laughs> um, and then we're gonna make this. So we're going to be looking at how to do use our little hexagon set and doing some little shaker toppers. Um, little inked background there. That could be anything. And actually, that would have looked really nice. I've stuck it on now. That would have looked really nice with that embossing folder embossed on it again, wouldn't it? That's my new favourite technique. Inked background, just embossed texture in the back. <gasps> I wish I'd done that now and I've stuck it on. Never mind. You, When you do this at home, emboss the folder in the back. Uh, what I have done is cut out lots of my little hexagons here. And then I've used the nesting hexagons to make frames, which you can see there. And there, those frames are going to be the little shakers. I've used the hexagons to cut pieces of scrap paper, which are going to go behind. Um, are going to go behind those hexagons, and they're going to make the two little uh, shaker pieces. I can hear some rustling, so it's sounding like we he's, have scored. He's done you proud. Oh, well done, Jake. He's done the you proud. Fine, a nice big roll of fine foam on a roll. Marvellous. Look at that. It's huge. Right, that's off. Look. Oh, Hello, there he is. There. Is. There he is. Come hi. on in. Hi. I just walked Hi, say hi. Way. Just come round. Hi. It's very tall. I've got my flat shoes on and I'm on my step. Yep. I'm vertically challenged. What can I say? What you don't fall off the step, Ben? <laughs> I'm vertically challenged. As my granddad used to say, good things come in small bottles. And that is very true, particularly. When it comes to you. And then um, my mum used to say, and so does poison. <laughs> <laughs> she's a good, she's a good leveller, Linda. That she, like brilliant. you would never get ideas above your station where Linda is. <laughs> she's, she's a great leveller, my mum, she really is. She keeps you, she keeps it real. Let's put it that way, Ben. I must remember that for my kids. She keeps it real because she never wants us to be disappointed by anybody else in life, so she does it for us. So, so small things come in, what is it? So good, good, good things come in small packages. Yes. And then my mum used to say poison comes in small bottles too. Right. I, I should remember that. Yeah. Good that one, isn't it? <laughs> well done, Linda. <laughs> well done, Linda. And then I've got the acetate cut to the same size as my frame. Um, there we go. So you can see how they're getting built up. So I've got two pieces of that. Where's the other one gone? Oh, there. That's going to get assembled. Mm -hmm. And then all of these other pieces are just going to be uh, elevated. Yeah. Okay, so I've got my sequence. So we can start assembling. Um, have I got time? That's the question. Well, you've got right. 11 minutes till the end of the show. Let's put a bit of tape on here, and we're going to do our best. Okay. If not, you get the general yeah, idea. Because we've idea. done it, we've done a little bit of going off piece, haven't we? This uh, this show. We have just a, a few comments. We're continuing the uh, rocker block chat with Margaret. Yeah. She says, "Always putting it down flat and then going forward, uh, and always missing a part of the stamp." Then you're creating a shadow, Margaret. So you stand mm. it on its heel, rock forward confidently onto its toe, yeah. and you will have perfect stamps every single time. I love the fact that between us, or, you know, between you and Margaret, you, you, you've diagnosed, and hopefully that she says, "I'm going to have a go with a hide ranger stamp tomorrow." Thank you so Good. much, Leanne. You're Margaret. welcome, and Margaret, you will now. B, you will love stamping again. Stamp like a pro. You'll, you, you'll not have any more frustration or anger towards the things that you can't <laughs> use because that's what that's how you feel, especially if you can't do it. That's how I feel, so I'm projecting on you there, Margaret, but I know that's how I feel. Yeah. Um, and so if that does that for you and fixes that, then isn't that marvellous? Job done, isn't it, then? Isn't it? Um, and Stephanie says, just awesome shows today. Thank you, Leanne and Ben, best presenter ever. Well, thank you. Uh, Stephanie. We uh, agree. Uh, <laughs> All right, Nicola. She says, it's a good job you like him. He's the only one we've got. 
Uh, CCTV team, thank you, and Social Superstar. Um, and also Rebecca Davies, who says, thank you, Ben. I'm glad you love all the cards. I've really enjoyed making them. I can tell our team have enjoyed this collection, Liam, from the quality of yes. the cards that we've got on the show. Yes, I agree with you, Ben. You mm. can always tell when the team have really, really loved a collection. Yeah. Uh, and I think they have with this one. Another collection, well, there's two other collections coming this week where I think you'll see that. Tomorrow with Craig. Oh, yeah absolutely amazing and then with me on thursday mm -hmm. um because i think that collection is um a collection you will not have seen of that quality for that style you know because we've done the modern man but it's for every man mm. um and it's it's much more edgy and retro and modern yeah. than I've seen other male collections done in paper craft so I think you're going to love that too can I uh, nick one of your catchphrases for Thursday yes I predict a riot <gasps> yeah don't you yeah I do too mm. I completely agree with you completely agree right so I'm going to take so I've just gone round the edge I've put acetate on the back of the frame that I cut and then I've just gone round with the fine foam on a roll so i'm taking the backs off now and i'll probably only get time to make one of these little shaker elements but you know what you'll get the idea um, and then you'll see the finished card i think if i get to finish one completely for you yeah you that's helpful because the then you can go and make as many as you like yeah so i've took that uh foam tape off the back of all those pieces then because we're making a shaker and we don't ever want it to fall apart in the sequence to pop out and we're using foam tape guess what we do what are you gonna do tacky glue tacky glue so put a little bit of tacky in. It just has to be a tiny dot. It doesn't yeah. have to be a lot. Like you don't have to, So what I would say is don't swamp it. No. So that it's all squidging out. Just little, you know, little dabs is more than enough, and that will do the grabbing for you. Then we're going to put um, some sequins in there. Oh yeah. So I'm putting them in because I'm sticking it on the back of paper. I'm putting them in the little well. There we go. Mm. So everybody's like, oh, but well, Leanne. I, I, I'm, I'm having faith in what Leanne's doing, so I'm not asking that. How on earth are you going to tip that over yeah. and stick it on the flipping card, Leanne, without uh, all the sequins falling out? I, That's the question yeah. on your lips. Yeah, OK. You're going well, to take your piece of paper uh, and put your little sandwich on there I like you Nicola also thought that that was already stuck to the card but I didn't want to say because I I've, in Leanne we trust in Leanne we trust <laughs> and then that makes your little makes your little shaker sandwich yeah. thank you for the show of faith from my colleagues there yeah I think I mean I normally do do it wrong but <laughs> on this occasion I had not uh, I've got a little bit of 3d glue gel <laughs> and that's my little shaker topper yeah. that I've made look. Go on a minute at home, you were thinking the same. <laughs> <laughs> and now that's stuck on the card. Yeah. And then what you would then do is just t make another one up here. Yeah. And then use all of your little hexagon pieces that we've got. Use some foam pads, lay those up in, you know, in a little arrangement, however you want. Different heights all the way as you do that. Put your little sentiment in the middle and then you've got a really lovely a little card with your two little shaker toppers on there and I would 100% if I hadn't have stuck that down use the 3d folder on the back of there would look gorgeous um what a beautiful card to finish off proceedings and thank you so much everybody for all the love coming through have you enjoyed today everyone I think I'm kind of guessing from the comments which have come through today and the ones which are coming through now that you have had a lovely day and you've enjoyed it very very much indeed um, Pat Demarest just messages to say uh, just extending a very well done uh, on another terrific show extremely informative and inspirational says Pat well that's marvellous if those are the sort of words that you're using I feel like Leanne and I have um, Got a few sort of uh, boxes ticks there today. Uh, informative, inspirational, entertaining, educational. That's the kind of things that we go for. And I, I, do you know what I love more than anything as well? Today? I love the fact that you guys have loved the collection. I love the fact that you've um, you've shopped and you bought it. But I also love little wins. And I feel like the, the whole Margaret situation with her rocker block. I love it when we get little wins like that. And I think that separates us from other channels. 
Do you know what? Because you wouldn't get that kind of customer service, would you, at any other place? Wouldn't take that time to help you, but that's what we're here for, and that's what we love to do. We love to help you out, so never ever be afraid of asking questions. Because if we can help you, um, then we will. And here's the thing: again, with that, with that whole, um, you know, Margaret not being able to use a rocker block, Margaret wouldn't have been the only person perhaps who's struggling. So we've helped everybody else out, out as well. So I absolutely love that. Uh, Linda Longfellow says, "I've loved both shows today. I would also love a masterclass on vellum." Um, but we will put the idea forward for another one. That date again, Nicola, you, you, did you write it down? It was August the 22nd or August 2022. If you go onto our, subscribe to our YouTube page um, and type in Vellum and then you'll see all of the shows that we've done. It was the 11th of August, 2022 for that last um, Vellum Masterclass. And Linda Armstead says, lovely day. Um, keep the last few comments coming through. I'll read a few in just a moment. Just to reiterate uh, how you buy, the best way to go is of course the show stuff. I've said it all day. Don't get the collection on its own, right? Because for an extra 14.99 or 19.95, you are effectively going to get two freebies, okay? So the showstopper is everything that you're seeing here. Uh, for $91.99 or $123.16, uh, you get 12 by 12 pad, six by six pad. You also get your linen cardstock, again, just beautifully matching with all of your designs. And you're also going to get your vellum included in there too. Then all of your goodies, of course, you know, all of your dies, all of your stamps, that beautiful embossing folder, the stunning sentiments in there as well, which have been you know, beautifully matched to kind of go with this whole collection. You're getting your pot of sequins included in there as well. But that's not all because you go for the showstopper and that extra $14.99 or $19.95 then gets you this. The actual cost is this, right? So it's in effect, you're paying for another paper pad, which you'd have bought anyway. And then we're saying, okay, we'll have for free another set of our vellum, 24 sheets of the vellum for absolutely nothing. And then also have another one of our six by six paper pads for absolutely nothing. And I think it's a great thing that we've done here because as we kind of alluded to through, throughout the day, 99% of you would have bought more anyway. So we've just put it in the bundle for you and given you two lots for free. If you then decide that you want more papers on top of that, or maybe you want some more of those beautiful sequins, you can add those in extra. That's the platinum price. If you're in the US, you know what to do to get your free shipping, $1.84, won't be hard. If you are the other end of the scale and you're loving the collection, but you haven't got that to budget to today, you can pick and choose because everything is available for you individually. Um, but whatever you shop for today, Hopefully, you've been inspired. And um, if you missed the first show, by the way, the first launch, hang fire because on CTV 24 7, we will be repeating that show straight after this one. What a day. Must say, um, big thank you to Leanne. Um, totally inspirational. Loved hanging out with you again. Uh, it's a beautiful collection and we've got so much more fun to come this week haven't we oh we've got all of the fun coming this week i think we've saved some of our greatest launches to this week i'm really excited especially for what craig has tomorrow mm. and especially for what i have on thursday as well as this fabulous collection that you've seen today and i'm really happy that uh, you've enjoyed the shows thank you very much for joining uh, absolutely marvellous. Yes, Leanne will be back with us on Thursday. The Modern Man it is... Go what I would say to you is make sure you join us live at 1 and 5. But also make sure you're on the website, Lickety Splick, at about 11. Uh, normally the, the, the goodies go live because you will need to be quick on that one. It's going to fly. And so much more to look forward to. Sarah in Wednesday and Friday, celebrating her birthday week, of course. Big cartload show coming up Friday. Wednesday, we've got the new garden collection. Tomorrow... I mean, if you've not seen the preview of those creator card dies that we did uh, last week, uh, you are in for a treat. I'm putting it out there now because I can see a sample just there. I mean, they're all fantastic, but for me, that one that you can see there, I think it's one of the best dies we've ever done. I agree. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. if, you're going to, if you haven't seen them in the preview, you are going to love them. <laughs> and it's Craig will bagel back tomorrow as well. The Hotty Scotty will be here, so it's always fun when Craig's in town. So do make sure you join us. Thank you to the whole team. Yes, thank you to Leanne. Thank you to Jan. Thank you to Susie earlier on. Thank you to Tracy and Jake. And thank you to Nicola and also Jamie, top team. And thank you to you guys as well for being awesome as per. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. And we will do all over again with another brand new launch tomorrow here on Crafted TV. Until then, take care and bye for now.